Hello, be friends, lovers of freedom across the world. I welcome you to this amazing program. Wherever you are joining me from, I appreciate you and I thank you for being part of this program. Please like and share the program on your platform. Share to family and friends. Share to everyone that is close to you so that they can be part of this very platform and be able to send information across. Fellow beer friends and people of the world, viewers across the world, in this very platform, we do not come here to instigate violence. We do not come here to preach hate. We don't come here for saga or to attack any individual. What we do in this platform is to send information across to the world on the true situation of things in Biafra land and in the contraption called Nigeria. There are so many things that are not being taken note of. There are so many things that are happening that are being told in a different form. In this platform, we bring those information to your doorstep and tell you exactly how things are. There are certain videos that you might not be able to come across on, on the media. Some videos that are hidden from the eyes of the people, we bring them out and share it through the social media so that the world will be aware of what is going on in the contraption called Nigeria. I welcome every one of you and I'm going to share a very important information as we speak. I want you to watch this video from the beginning to end. You will understand what we are talking about. So many things that you can't see online. You are going to see it here. So, listen to this very video from the beginning to end. I bet you, you're going to enjoy it. Let us watch it together and see what the video has to say. Now, you will agree with me that Nigeria is one of the highest oil producing countries in the world. And Delta State is said to be the, one of the highest oil producing states in the country. Right now, guys, I'm at Omadino Community in Wari South, local government area of Delta State. Now, Omadino Community is said to be one of the highest oil producing communities from this region. Now, you might want to think that such a community as Omadino that plays a very vital role in the oil and gas sector of the economy should at least boast of rich and adequate infrastructure facilities, you know, um, lights, roads, good roads, good access to job, employment and all of that. But that is not the case of Omadino. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chekube and you are welcome to Butterbox. It is in no doubt that the exploration of oil in a community brings about environmental hazards such as oil spills as well as every other form of pollution. Now, Omadino community is not an exception to that. Over here is the town hall of Omadino community. Let's go check it out. This is the dilapidated state of the Omadino uh, Town Hall. As rich as Omadino community is in terms of oil, look at what you can make out of it. Now we are at Omadino community in Wari South local government area of Delta State. Now, is it true that Omadino community is um, the highest oil producing community in the state? Yes, it's true. Okay, what can you say about the um, standard of living right here in Omadino? Mm, as you can see now, this is the community of Omadino. This is Omadino community, the which I know my the idea that this community is the richest oil producing community in West Africa. This is the Omadino. As you can see, look at take a look at the community. Nothing is happening. Nothing. Even when the community now the highest oil producing community, the people here are suffering. Most especially the youth, they don't have job. Most especially the youth, they don't get job. Then the men also with wives and children they are suffering because no job for them to to follow up with. I may why they say the land get oil. Yeah. They say the land they good. They produce oil yeah, like that. And why the men are suffering? Why the youth are suffering also? So even the women also they are working hard, so hard to assist their husband to make sure that the children feed. 
Then now let government try and help the youths, the men and the women to empower them, to give them job, to make sure that they have something doing. Since here is all here producing the most highest place, so let them try for us. Community issue, I can wish you So based on fashion to Ajay, Boboka Jogo, I'm a mogul, I can't wait to put something on there. He can come back and catch it. So then Ajay can go to Ijuwe. So. Odu Jean, yes, si Jean Ajay, and which is saying supposed to be she government car move back back our but I'm going to she by left by Ajay, because she ni worry ni on. So I need to watch Jenny. I need to come back Ajay. Eh, no, she ain't got bishop below me. But bishop be here today. So where matter your cigar? What do you want me to come and do for this community? I want government to do something, school everything for the community. Now we need to benefit us now. We can make us. Begin everything, work, who not go, 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 work. Yes, they have a many role to play. They have a role of the market, they have a role of the light, they have a role of the community, the community transformer, we don't have transformer, we don't have anything. They have many roles to play to help us. Okay, now due to the exploration of oil, um, it brings about uh, environmental hazard like um, oil spillage, like um, pollution. Doesn't that affect your activities in the river, like fishing and all of that? It affects us everywhere. Many times, uh, we pollute us everywhere. When you put net, oil full everywhere. No fish, nothing, nothing. We pack the net. Look at my net for here. Just look it now. It's sun that dry the oil. Nothing, nothing. We cannot bring fish. We cannot bring anything. Nothing we can bring out because of the oil pollution. Nobody, we don't have anybody that come outside to come and help us. This place is the Amadino center of market. This good business is only the place that Amadino community used to feed, to have anything. And this fish pond here. Apart from this place, we don't get any place to feed again. This place that is the place that we use to feed and to eat, to train our children. No school, nothing, nothing. If we hungry, we come to this place and work. Otherwise, no market, nothing, nothing. It's only this wood business that we use to take care of ourselves. This fish pond over here is said to be the only means of survival for the people of Omadino community, as you can see. Okay now guys, we are at the river bank now to go find out, to go see for ourselves how far the extent to which the oil spills may have caused damage to the waters. Let's go. Wow. Wow, you can see, you can see. But not should I say that. So how do people survive over here? If you can see now, if you look to that other area now, this is a river now area. Most of us here how we benefit is from the fishing. Most of us are fishermen. Like me now, I used to do fishing. Okay. And afterward they will say that we are the I guess uh, oil producing community in West Africa, apart from fishing, cannot be able to survive, and this is the community. Well, you said that um, um, since the exploration of oil from this community, there are some things like oil spillage and all of that. Don't don't it you know affect your activities on the river? Why? Why? It affects us sometimes. If you even go to the water side now, you see some of some of the oil spillage that happened some time ago. But in now we even complain to some of the yeah, the uh, Asian workers. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Some of them we even complain to them. But they came, they viewed some of the the places then. But afterward, they let us know that they will come back to us. But in now, nothing like that happened. Because of the whole year, wherever they don't have much perinko again, so that will make them to suffer. So they need help from government. Now government don't do anything for now. What did they happen for the community? I'm not sure you can't be there. But I don't know me. I don't know pump. I don't know reggae. I don't know to buy. We are two community where those who know can never. All streets are so much better. We are not a doctor. I don't know any treatment. They more have to do is more injury. We are we are two are good doctor. We know. I don't know about treatment. You are not going to any any community. Eh yeah. Eh, ni kaka. Eh, ni ka. School ne. Eh, ni schoolu. 
No tisha, any eh, tisha ni school we. O bon ta kogba ne keke tuwa we. O bon we, ane mi na. Ene eh, mkun o bon we, o bon we dede doko. Ene eh, ne mkun na madinon. Tene mo ga we, ene eh, kari mkun ni no. Utukwa, ene eh, kan utukwa. Two weeks, three weeks, ene eh, te nutukwa. Nutukwa, last lights. Lights. Light. Okay, what do you have to say to the government in general? Just pour out your mind. Okay, who we'll beg the government? As I am now, I don't have anything doing, and I'm from this community of Madino, and we say that we are the highest oil producing community. Most of the youth, most of all of all the youth in this community, we don't have empowerment, no job, nothing is happening. Because of hungry, sometimes the youth fight. Sometimes because they they look that they don't, what they are supposed to get. They not going to get time, uh, make them, they, you know, fight themselves at times, at times, not every time. Because they don't, what they expect from government, government they give given to them. So the annoyance in them and all that make, makes them to fight sometimes, quarrel against each other because no money, no work, nothing, nothing. For more than three weeks, I be four weeks, almost a month plus now, we don't have light in Amadino community. But we are the all year producer in Amadino community. We will test covers. Now we get boundary together, but we will not get light, we will not get anything. No pump, no light, no water, nothing, nothing in Amadino community. We are suffering of all those things. Hey, what do you think, um, what is the rule of uh, the Delta State Oil Producing Area Development Commission in all of this? The super deck. Don't you think they are doing something about They should be doing something about this. Mm, the super deck, as the community, has, let me just say, only what the super deck are doing in this community is just only houses that they are built. Apart from the houses, there is no development, no any other thing, apart from some houses that they build in the community. Apart from that, there is nothing else. When I first heard about Omadino community being the highest oil producing community in Delta State, honestly, I thought it is a well-developed community. But from what I've seen so far, I think it is nothing to write home about. So which means that the government has a lot of work to do down here in Omadino community. Well, that's all we can take today on Butterbox. And um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do not forget to drop your comments on the comment section below. You can visit us on our website at www.butterbox.com and also follow us on every of our social media platforms at Batterbox. Until I come here next time, my name is Chekube Isaac saying bye for now. Thank you so much for watching the program. I appreciate you for your patience to watch from beginning to end. I hope you have learned a lot from this very program that I just played, this video. Please like and share the video. Share to all platforms. After sharing the video, now you can go to the comment section and put down your comments. Whatever suggestions, contributions you have to make, what do you think about the video I just played? Go to the comment section and put your comment. I will go to the comment section and I bet you I am learning a lot from there and you can equally learn from there. Let us share our experience on that comment section. Thank you so much and stay blessed. Don't forget to share and chukwu kukabia. We continue to bless you as you share. We are from government. Peace, progress, unity and everything. We are moving. Oh,